Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and this is activity one for the text to column function. So first here is the data set for Chipotle. And this data, so the activity is to count how many survey respondents claim that they went to Chick-fil-A the most in the last six months. So the first thing I did to kind of tackle this activity was to sort that answer by um, alphabetically. So you can do this by the sort and filter A to Z. So that's what I did. So now I'm gonna copy paste this cell into another spreadsheet um, because it'll be easier to work with. So in order to count how many people said they went to Chick-fil-A, we'd want to, ideally, if everyone filled in Chick-fil-A perfectly, we would just kind of do a count it function. Um, but I'll demonstrate why that won't work. So you can just do equals count if, and our range would be this, and I'm gonna do command shift down to get all the column, all the rows only with data in it. And then the criteria would be check A. The problem with that number is it's not taking into account these two responses down here and these two up here. It's just not taking into account the fact that people were able to input this answer on their own and they spelled it all differently. So what I'm thinking we could do was to is to separate this text by column and the only two things we'd have to do is fix these two responses down here because we can separate it out by the word chick. So we can separate out by space, by hyphen, but these two, this one doesn't have a space and this one doesn't have a C. So if we fix those two data sets and kind of clean our data, then we'll be able to separate these responses out by the word chick. So first I'm gonna make this a capital C and add a hyphen. This one, I'm gonna do a capital C, add that second C, and then we should be good to separate this text into column. So how you do that is you're going to select the data again, command, shift down for Mac users, control, shift down if you're not a Mac user. Then we're gonna go over to the data tab, you can navigate to the text to column function, and we're gonna do a delimited one. This one allows you to separate out data by a tab, a space, a hyphen, um, any symbol really fixed with would allow you to separate out data or like a word by the physical width it takes up in a column. But that's not useful in this case. So we're gonna do delimited. The delimiters we're gonna use are a space or I put other as a hyphen. You can see kind of here what that's going to do. Um, those are the only delimiters we'd need to kind of answer this question. So I'm gonna hit next. And then I'm gonna do general, but I'm gonna insert it in this column so it doesn't mess up that data and then I'm gonna select finish. So now we have a column with all the Chick-fil-A responses broken up into Chick-fil-A or Chick-fil-A, but we don't really care about these columns. We just wanna count how many people said Chick. And um, should have started with this, but I already checked the data, uh, making sure that no one else put Chick-fil-A or spelled it not starting with Chick. I didn't think anyone would, but that kind of removes that error. But now we're gonna do a count if of this cell for the word chick. So equals for a function count if. I'm gonna select this range of cells. And then our criteria would be just chick. And that gives us 33 people who have visited Chick-fil-A the most in the last six months. Thanks for watching.